Hokuriku has many hidden places to see that we will never know about. Craft and design, cuisine, from silent nature and spirituality. Let's go to the heart of Japan. As we emerge from the lockdown, we realize how helpless we are against the forces of nature. However, the greater threat may be we humans trying to resist nature. Let's take a journey to reconsider our own way of life. Dai Honzan Energy. This is a temple that is the essence of the Buddhist ideology of Zen, to which Apple Steve Jobs was devoted. Blended with nature, a gigantic Buddhist temple stands with a stoic appearance. A forest of giant trees guard the temple. Ascetic monks from all over the world come here to immerse themselves in Buddhist training and practices to survive in these turbulent times. Let's take a peek at the temple gate and shake off the fatigue of our journey. Hakujukan is a temple lodging that warmly welcomes pilgrims to the threshold of the Zen experience. Located just five minutes walk from the temple, this beautiful hotel offers meditation space in addition to the guest rooms to allow guests to unwind both mentally and physically. The inn serves vegetarian food prepared in line with the Zen philosophy. Use of animal products is avoided and you will enjoy holistic vegetables from the roots through to their skin. Guest rooms are decorated with traditional Japanese style paper called washi, creating a truly relaxing atmosphere. Listen to the quiet murmuring of the stream as you drift off to sleep. I decided to take a leisurely morning stroll around the temple. Improving his mental state was not the only motivation drawing Steve Jobs to Zen. He pushed himself to the limit to remove any self-attachment and practice the awakening of his innate spirituality. Or, in other words, his superior individuality and strength. A simple way of thinking has become a method that crossed national borders, but beyond that, there is a realm that transcends business. It is a philosophy that teaches don't try to live for anything. Through practice, Zen disciples learn to simply accept change as nature does. Becoming aware that life, death and existence are no more than a fragment of the universe, they alleviate any suffering brought about by the expectations of oneself and others. All that's left is to focus on the importance of the day and live it to the fullest. But is it really possible to not seek meaning in life? After looking around the temple, it's time to have breakfast. Let's bask in the aftermath of the temple visit, cherishing the feelings we obtained from it. The River of God, Kuzuryu River, has been protected by inhabitants since ancient times. Located on the river as a cultural facility, Eshikoto is operated by Kokuryu Sake Brewery, which follows the traditional sake producing method invented more than 200 years ago during the Edo period. The majestic building was designed by the British architect Simon Condor in collaboration with local Japanese architect Shunichi Furuya. The linear shape nestles into the topography with a panoramic view of the natural environment while exuding an extremely modern aesthetic. The restaurant Akoya offers a Japanese style breakfast. Bringing the local food culture together, it is rich in flavor and soothing in taste. At lunch, an aperitif combined with sake is served. Initially, 
、そこで影響を受けたんですけど、そ,のそこの食とか人とか、そういったこととあの一緒に交流することを楽しんでいらっしゃる姿を見て、世界のワインを楽しんでいるようなお客様が、まあ、日本来たら、地方の酒蔵行って、その日本、そのフードを楽しもうみたいな、そんな文化になればなっていう。Named after the Japanese word for eternal. The facility aims to hand down the culture of Hokuriku to posterity, with sake at its core. Besides the shops, restaurants, and patisseries, the premises currently has a hall and a private cellar where 8,000 bottles are stored. In addition, grand plans such as the construction of a restaurant hotel, brewing laboratory, And distillery are in the works. It is definitely worth visiting again. Various large and small sake breweries standing side by side. Most of them are family owned, and each one has its own distinct flavor. Yoshida Sake Brewery, which also has a brewery on the banks of the Kuzuru River, has the concept of Eheji Terawa. And produces the famous sake Hakuryu while cultivating its own sake rice in the region. Junmai Daiginjo, which utilizes Yamada Nishiki sake rice cultivated in house, has a light and fragrant taste. Though this rice is suitable for sake brewing as it has a large grain with no unpleasant taste, it tends to grow slowly. And is likely to be blown down by winds. After the rice is cultivated and polished, it is said that only the center part is steamed before being used. It seems that brewing is undertaken in winter when it is easier to control the fermentation temperature. I think that the 一年中自然と一緒に住まわせていただいているというのか自然に対してこう同行するんじゃなしに自然を受け入れるってことがまず第一だと思ってます。拡散力の雪解けの伏流水なので本当に酒質も柔らかで綺麗です。山であり川でありそれからその田んぼの上を渡ってくる風であるとかそういったものすべてを指して私たちはテロワールと呼んでおります。The taste is one with nature due to the crystalline water and air of the region, the infinite workings of life, and the hands of people who live in harmony with this environment. Looking at the dynamic gush of water from the mountains gently reminds us that we are no more than a minute part of the natural world. Nature. Intrinsically shifts with the passage of time, and people live under its influence. It may be wise to know this balance and obtain nature's vital blessings. I didn't understand Buddhism's transcendental way of thinking about letting go of the meaning of life, but after coming here, I was able to appreciate its gentle but strong message. It is a method to achieve happiness. By living with a heart and mind that respects nature's dynamism with its beginning and end.